this is our weekly show and textiles tuesday and i'm literally going to be here this is going to this is a test run really i want to see who's interested how things go and i'm going to just display to you some really cool textiles that i've got at the moment in storage i've got like a pile on the floor here next to me and i'm going to showcase these beautiful textiles from africa i'm going to showcase these beautiful textiles from africa too hey pippa hey be nikki alison clay if you're with me say hello fancy tat welcome 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 really just 10 minutes we're going to just dive in have a look at some things so last month we were looking at um nigeria as the month each month with wax and wraps is hey each month with wax and wraps is a new theme okay a new country theme i take you into a new country i bring textiles from there to you and last month we looked at nigeria for those who are here and with me for the first time I'm being very rude, having to reintroduce myself. I'm Jacqueline Shaw. I'm the founder of Wax and Wraps, which is your African print subscription box where we bring you monthly a amazing box full of, you can see all the goodies in that one, box full of goodies, wax prints, African prints, African fabrics, uh, sewing projects and all kinds. But today and every Tuesday, I'm going to be bringing you textiles, from our storage okay as a show in textiles so last month we looked at nigeria and um there was this stick of fabric which was on display and i've actually got it now in a new color so i'm going to show you both colorways because i think the new color is really really very interesting so the color that was in the box was this it was this beautiful green color um, it's got a blue base and it's green on top. And this is called Adure. So it's a wax resistant textile, traditional for Nigeria. And what it does is it's handmade, it's hand blocked, it's using the wax resistance, as I said. And it's, it's made with artisans in Nigeria, in different places on the continent. You can, um, sorry, in the country. You can see that it's got different designs along it. If we go to the other side, or if at the end of it, the design changes a little bit. There's a little bit like a snakes and ladders board or something right but it's really kind of cool it's really really cool um and I, what i did after getting this one there was so much interest i had to reorder and i've now nearly come gone out of this ne nearly finished with this one but then i just went and asked them to do another colorway because i thought why not so look at that look at how beautiful this one is now look at how beautiful this red version of that adure is i'm just trying to open it up here there we go look at that so that's red the base is more of a, a, a black or a really deep deep um really deep deep blue but i'll just say it's more like a maroon and a black compared to the red look compared to the green let me show you them together so now you can see the two of them And these are fabrics from Nigeria. These are traditionally from this handmade. You can think of it like a batik, but it's not really called a batik. It's got its own name. It's got its own name. Did you get, if you got the box and you got this, what did you make? Type in the comments what you made this. This word one is so sweet. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. So I got that one. I got that one just to show. And I thought, let's see what else can, you know, what kind of interest we get from this one. But I think it's beautiful. So they're both going to be going on to the shop. Okay. They're both going to be going onto the shop page. So let me just put those over there. I did have another fabric from Nigeria, but I'm not going to show it this week. This is just in contrast. As we know, right now we're in the month of, um, we're looking at Tanzania. And Tanzania is um, East African country. So we've moved from West Africa to East Africa. And I have a load of new textiles coming to the website, which are from Tanzania. I'm bringing you some in our box this month on top of that i've got some special edition pieces which are just these are three yards each or two and a half to three yards each this is just one it's a little bit like an animal print in the way with a bit of a splatter on top this is just a one-off okay and this was done in tanzania with um a women's owned group which i really like and i just think that's really really pretty um i think that's really really pretty what do you guys think of that one? Is this kind of the kind of thing you like it? So it's really nice. You want to make a dress but not decided yet. Oh, from the Nigeria fabric. Okay. 
I think that could work in that deep green because it's it's it's, it's a deeper color. I think that really could work. Um, I'm seeing that that could be made. Let's have a look again. This one, I think that definitely could be a nice dress if it's a shift dress. You could do something a bit more constructed, tailored in that. Um, because the cotton is quite a thick cotton. This is a local cotton. It's called the Funtua cotton. It's locally sourced, locally grown in Nigeria. And it's quite a thick, well, it's a slight open weave when you look at it. But the weight of it is quite thick. So I think you can, you can do quite a lot of that. It's quite sturdy and firm. And if you need to put any backing on that, you can... Um, like an interfacing to make it look more sturdy and create even outerwear with that if you really want to once you've lined that I always still line it to give it that real firm to put hey Virgo lingo I'd really I'd still um back that to give it a bit more sturdiness okay so that's a Nigeria ones which I think are really really cool um I think that Virgo person has gone that's okay um, and then the ones from Tanzania, as I mentioned, have you worked with any kind of batiks in East Africa? I know it's more typical that we we see this in, in West Africa, but have you worked with any from East Africa? Because that's why I'm bringing it to you guys this month. I've got a whole lot of different types of textiles coming to you. So that's the Tanzania one. But the ones I want you to talk about right now is um, the um, stretch fabrics. So, first of all, this is the wax print version. This is the wax print version. And it's called New Fine Trail. I mean, how pretty is this? How pretty is this? New Fine Trail. That's what this is called. Okay, and this is the green version. I'm actually making some t-shirts from this. It's the green version. And then this is the red version. I mean, they're both my favourite, but, you know, I'm going to do a little bit of a mix-match thing with it. So that's the wave version. These are the wax prints. These are 100% cotton wax print. Now, on top of that, this is what I wanted to show you. And let's say we've got it in store right now. This is the same design, but this is on... Just let this people in. This is the same design... But this is on stretch, okay? It's on a stretch fabric. So it's a digital print. It's a soft handle. It's 55 wide. And you can see it's a beautiful stretch. I want you to get ready for, um, like, you know, we're going to lockdown. Why not get, make yourself some gym clothes and get you ready? Why not prepare yourself and get ready for that new season? This is in the, in the blue colorway. Use all the wrapping dry try to protect them and this is the red colorway so look at these beautiful fabrics all these beautiful fabrics so you're like no worries no worries i'm actually going to jump off in a second this was i started late but what i'm going to do i'm going to make this more official if you choose and try to get into our group i don't know what is going on with facebook wouldn't let me in the group I thought it was live, but it wasn't. So I just came straight into Instagram. But this is the red version of the stretch. Now I'm thinking you can make some beautiful pieces from um, these, which can be gym wear for the lockdown that we are in or preparing for January and everybody goes back to the gym and does all that fitness again. So this is really what I to show you. Beautiful fabrics. The stretch fabrics. So the stretch anchor, you can call them. These are now available. These are in store. Got some yardage left if you're interested. Let me know. Red version, blue version. And if you're interested just in the wovens, in the typical wax print, these is the red and this is the green. Now these are coming all the way from West Africa. The only source locally. And uh, yeah, the blue one's really nice. Do you do stretch though? Do you do stretch? Because I mostly see you obviously do the wax print. Do you do any stretch? So today, I've been bringing you the show in Textile Tuesday. Um, I'm going to be bringing more every week. 
you're going to be showing you the different types of fabrics that we've got the fabrics of the month and oh see i had so many to show you today I've so so many but it doesn't matter it doesn't mean next tuesday we're going to do the same thing i'll probably show a few more of these again for those who may have missed it but i'm going to bring some new things around christmas to do there you go well i've got a great uh, december challenge for us but that's it from me i'm jacqueline shaw i am the founder of wax and wraps and i want to say to remind you have fun with prints that's what it's all about it's about having fun enjoying yourself and just remember it's just clothing let's just to make fun and enjoy it okay see you on the next one take care